We're on level seven of the silo. My name is Dave. I'm a tour guide down here at the Titan Missile Museum. Uh, I was stationed here during the mid-70s on a Titan missile crew. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff we used to do on a daily basis. We would go through all nine levels of the silo looking for problems. It would take us four hours a day. We'd do it twice a day. What we're looking at here, this is the pneumatic system. This, uh, all the air pressure is created right here with this machinery. All right, continuing on level seven. Uh, eight of the floors of this silo are jam-packed with anything you think a rocket could need to, to launch. Uh, mostly pumps, uh, water pumps, air conditioning, everything. Now this one is uh, chilled water going up to the uh, cooling towers. Chilled water is what kept this co cool. This launch tube had to be kept at 60 degrees. The missile had to be 60 degrees at all times or the fuel would boil away, and that would not be good for any of us. So that's what most of this stuff is. This is the chilled water going back up to the, the return to the cooling towers. This pump is the water for the fire protection system, which I'll show you on a different level. Uh, walking this way, this giant pipe is bringing the water down into those deluge nozzles uh, down on level eight. This pump is bringing the water down from those chilled water supplies. So everything down here is gonna be on shock absorbers or springs, just like in the control center. So in case we take a first strike, we need to be able to survive that to be able to launch. So everything, every piece of equipment critical to launching this missile is gonna be on springs or shock absorbers, just like this. And then all the hoses, the electrical, the plumbing is all built in slack. So everything can move up and down and side to side without tearing apart. All right, level seven inside the launch duct. Now this thing, that's the thrust mount. 15 tons of steel. This is what the missile is bolted to. There's four explosive bolts that hold the missile down to this thrust mount. Now this is hung by four springs, 30 feet tall or three stories tall each to keep the missile uh, safe from a nuclear attack. When those keys are turned, uh, shims shoot out, lock this thrust mount down into a, a stable position so we have a stable uh, platform to fire from. Now when the missile gets to 77% of its full thrust, the four explosive bolts that hold it down explode and the missile will start lumbering up out of that silo. And from here, it only takes two seconds to get outside and on its way. Now this is level seven, we're right under the missile. All the platforms are down, the work platforms, where if somebody had to come and work on it or load the missile with fuel. Now right here, this is where the engines would be bolted to. These are the, uh, the uh, lines coming from the fuel tank and the oxidizer tank. Uh, this is where the butterfly valve that keeps the missile from being uh, inadvertently launched would sit. I mean, the engines would sit down here. We took the engines off, put them outside so everybody can get a good look at the technology. This is the best view of the missile from down here. Uh, looking up, you get to see the whole thing. Now, all these panels along the wall, those are all our sound attenuation panels. Uh, they're one foot thick, filled with spun fiberglass. Uh, that's gonna absorb a lot of the sound. Looking down, there's the W or the blast deflector. And you can see uh, the diving board there. You can actually see why we call it a diving board. Now, during a launch, this would fill up with water. And you can see on either side that Vapor, the fumes are going to be taken away from the missile so the missile can be safe as it flies out of this silo. Now this here is the explosive nut. We call them explosive bolts, but there's really explosive nuts on either end in case one doesn't blow, the other will. And these are what hold that missile down to this thrust mount. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, this is the end of level seven. Uh, stay tuned for uh, the other levels of the silo. <laughs>